In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use open art. This thing lets you make your images, turn them into videos, and keep your characters consistent through the whole process all in one spot. I'm just going to show you how it works and why I've basically stopped using anything else. All right, first things first, you will just go to the open art site and make an account. And then once you're in, you will land on this dashboard. Everything is laid out pretty simply. You've got your image stuff right here for basic image generation, story for more advanced projects, your video tools. The whole point of open art is that you don't have to keep jumping between different tabs and different subscriptions and you'll just have all of your stuff in one place. So let's just make an image. You'll click on create image and it takes you to the generator. And what's cool is that you have access to over a hundred different models right here. You've got your photorealistic ones, anime, 3D renders, even high-end models like Flux, which other places will make you pay extra for. So let's just try a basic prompt. An ancient Roman gladiator in a cyberpunk neon lit alley, cinematic lighting, detailed. And then boom, the results are pretty solid right out of the gate. The lighting and the detail are great in both of these, and this is just the start. But here's where having all of the models in one place gets really powerful. So I can take that exact same prompt and not change a single word and just switch over to, say, a comic book style of model. And then look at that. It's a totally different vibe, but the quality is still there. And it's really that easy to just experiment with whatever you want. Now, that's cool and all, but the biggest problem with AI image stuff is the character consistency. Right, so you generate one great image like we just did, but then you can never get the same person or that same character back again. So open art completely solves this, and you just go back to the main page, and you click on the character tab. You get a few ways to do this. You can just describe someone with a text, you can use a photo that you already have, or you can upload multiple photos. But the really wild part is that while other tools need you to upload 10 or more images, open art lets you create a stable character from one single reference image. It's honestly insane that it can do this, but yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna use this image of a Yeti that I made earlier. We're gonna call him Bigfoot, and we're gonna hit Create Character. It takes a few minutes, maybe five to 10, um, for it to do its thing, and what's happening while it's doing it is that it's building a mini model that is trained specifically on Bigfoot's face and appearance. All right, now that that's done, I can put Bigfoot anywhere I want, so let's try Bigfoot standing on the bow of a shipwreck with the jagged rocky coast in the distance. And there he is, the face is perfect, the suit's the same, but the background and the pose and the place are all completely new. This feature alone is definitely worth the price of admission, it's friggin' awesome, so definitely play around with that. Oh, and real quick, if you ever generate an image that's a bit small or it's a bit blurry or you just want a little bit more detail, their upscale tool is ridiculous. So you, the ultimate upscale thing right here, you can take a low quality pick and just blow it up, adding in details that weren't even there to begin with, just like this. Okay, let's move on to video. Click on the generate button. Uh, this is your text to video area, and you can just type something and make a video from nothing. You've got a few different models to choose from, like Kling 2.1, VO, and Hilo. Uh, Kling is amazing for getting realistic movement. VO3 is incredible for making realistic looking content, and Hilo is the fastest and most cost effective one. Um, so I'm just going to pick Kling and I'm going to type in a prompt to generate a quick clip. It takes a couple of minutes to process this, but then once it's done, you get a full video clip just from that sentence. But image to video is where you get the real control. All right, so you can take any picture that you've already made and then you can bring it to life. So I'll grab that first image that we made of the gladiator. I'm going to click the image to video button. And now I'm going to write, the gladiator draws his sword, neon lights flicker and reflect off wet pavement, raindrops fall gently, atmospheric cyberpunk mood. It takes a few minutes to process, but then check this out. We just turned that still picture into a moving scene. But here is my absolute favorite feature. I want to get a portrait shot of the Yeti that we made using VO3. So I'm going to go back to the character tab, choose Yeti, and then go to image creation, and then type close up portrait, looking directly at camera, professional headshot, good lighting, D3, 
detailed facial features. This gives us the perfect portrait shot that we need. With the Yeti portrait open, click image to video and then choose the VO3 model. Down in the motion prompt, type say, make sure you like and subscribe, speak clearly, neutral expression, no accent. VO3 takes a little longer, maybe close to eight minutes, but here's the result. Make sure you like and subscribe. I mean, come on, this is insane. The lip sync is perfect. The facial expressions are natural. It looks completely real or at least as real as a Yeti talking to a camera can look. So with open art, you're not juggling half a dozen different tools and subscriptions anymore. You can come up with a character, generate images, turn them into professional videos, and have them all talk, all without ever leaving the platform. OpenArt gives a good amount of free credits to get started and even lets you test out some of the premium stuff. Once you get the hang of it, their paid plans are also pretty reasonable, starting at around $14 a month. And that basic plan unlocks everything that we just went over, including all the image and video models and the custom character training. Anyway, I hope this helps and I will see you in the next video.